Hello, good people of the progressive and fair nation of Germany. We are playing Victoria 2, and we are continuing with the Germany game. And we are no longer freaking communists. Amazing. The Liberals finally, 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 finally won. We saw off the uh, Grand Coalition in their massive war against us. We are fortifying our borders more than they have ever been fortified before, and things are looking pretty decent at the moment. I mean, our army is still a little bit shaky, but thanks to having won the last containment war, we are no longer constrained in how many troops we can build. So we are building, you know, just one or two additional units, including some of the new tanks. Oh yes, marvellous. Um, I think I probably do need to queue up more artillery. Artillery is really the key to the late game battles. Also, we have a couple of new toys coming in, namely these cruisers and dreadnoughts. So our navy is actually looking rather stronger at the moment too. Um, I'm going to cancel some of these ships. Oh, cancelling one ship was enough. Really? I can queue up more things. What the hell? Why was this showing up as red? Okay, so Stettin does a Tuchel. We'll just get another five. Now it's red again, but we'll just cancel anywhere where there's double, like here and here. Okay, I'm confused. Whatever, it'll be fine. The girl from Roman Ronava, a little more consciousness. Oh well, we are still building more troops, which we can send probably to like our central reactionary force, which we'll probably put in south there. Sweden's trying to fight us in... sorry, uh, Russia's trying to fight us in Sweden. Which I'm really not impre impressed by there, Russia. Oh. Clearing a bit of space on my desk so I can spread out a little bit. There we go, much more comfortable. Right, you guys are almost ready to move. Mass advertising! The rapid spread of the basic functional literacy and in industrial societies combined with the improvements in communication technologies to lay the basis for the development of new approaches to the promotion of creating demand for the rapidly increasing output of goods by increasingly efficient industrial systems. Drawing upon increased understanding of the nature of human compulsion shaped by the environment around them, advertisers would also learn lessons gained by the states in their propaganda efforts during the period of wars to rally the population to support the goals of the nation in its conflict. The results would be a rapid expansion of the use of simple direct means advertising to popularise new products and increase the appeal and demand for established products would become permanent features of popular culture as the 20th century evolved, and would eventually come to impact other realms of public life, including politics. Um, Poland's dealing with, dealing with rebels, but they seem to be dealing it with them pretty well. The British armies that were here have backed off, so I'm assuming that they are being shipped home, which is very good. German fascist uprising. Which we are going to use you for. Frederick Oldenburg, you are not the best man for attacking. Um, who's our best attacking commander? You're not bad. I mean, surely we have like a two or a three or something. Hindenburg, you almost certainly are. So Hindenburg is going to be in command of that army, and then we can put... Leiter's not bad. Bulo here, then Hindenburg. Oh, in fact, Oldenburg can go to one of those. So we're going to put Hindenburg here, and then Oldenburg there. Hindenburg, your job is to hunt these rebels. And that should be fine. We have really good defences in the interior now, so we can just run around killing them, frankly. Uh, so we're a little bit low on morale, but... This is a very strong army, so I'm not too concerned. War veterans, disgruntled with what they see as the failures of capitalism and liberal democracy, have formed a free corps, an ideological and paramilitary organization ostensibly existing to protect the state and homeland, while de facto promoting a fascist political agenda in one of our states. The corps has already begun flexing its muscles in local politics, threatening, threatening several liberal politicians and maintaining a fairly intimidating uniformed presence in the state. Um, prevent the organization from recruiting in barracks grounds, because our army owns the state. We don't need additional armies in our state. Thank you very much. If you wish to be a militarized faction within the nation, fine, join the freaking army. 
The Bratislava patrimony, the Bratislava area has been under German control for some time, and now after many years it does seem that the citizens of the province consider themselves Germans. Marvellous. To paraphrase slightly. The model colony in Britain, that is unfortunate. Now, the other thing I wanted to... Oh, they sank my transport fleet. Those bastards. Okay, never mind. I just built a whole bunch of factories. Yeah, the capitalists are probably coming out swinging. They're not building anything at the moment. Oh, yes they are. <laughs> they are building a lot of stuff. Excellent. Okay, that's going to be kick-starting our economy again. We're going to have the much better throughput, which is going to help. And also, one thing which I had noticed, which I don't think I'd seen before. Where was it? Under politics? Uh, where was it? That was a nice little, well, not a nice little trigger. What does revanchism do again? Is it trade? No. Diplomacy? Don't think so. Military. Okay, so somewhere there is a war exhaustion number. I think it must have been in politics. Anyway, what that does is it reduces the overall production output. And it was reducing our throughput by like 25% or something like that. But now that we're at peace, it should be dropping quickly. I don't see where that was now. Where was that? It's in one of these tabs, clearly. I have no idea. Ah, was it in one of these? No. That suppression... I could have sworn it would be in the politics tab, that just makes sense. Maybe it was diplomacy. Wars, justifications. There it is, war exhaustion. Okay, so it is now no longer affecting our industry, I think, and it is reducing by minus one. I don't know if that's per day, per month, per year. No idea. Let's, let's watch it. Teaching at the Summer Palace, the old Summer Palace, known in Chinese as the Gardens of the Perfect Brightness, is a complex of gardens northwest of the Imperial City in Beijing, China. This massive garden and palace complex was built during the 18th and early 19th centuries, and have for a long time functioned as a place of residence and office for the Qing emperors. Known for its splendor, this palace stands as a tribute to the achievements of, Je of Chinese culture. Today received news that the Russian soldiers occupying Beijing have burnt the palace to the ground. The whole nation mourns. As news of this barbarous act of culture size spread throughout China and the world. So I guess that's a result of the Russo-Chinese War, which the Russians are now pushing back in. Still 6%. 5%. I think it goes down by 1% a month. So we have five more months of unrest and then we'll be fine. Good. Good, good, good. We're about to take that island, but hmm. so it goes. Can we, like, actually fight the units that are still alive before trying to take it back? I think that would be a more clever idea now, wouldn't it? Eh? Eh? Okay, how are we doing here? White piece between them? Okay. I really want to reduce my tariffs a bit, but I know that they're super expensive. Reduce it to 5% and hopefully that can kickstart my economy a little bit more. As we're importing raw materials more cheaply. We have plenty of money in the bank right now so we can kind of afford to do this. Uh, Sweden can be increased in sphere of influence. In fact we can add them to the sphere which is lovely. And also... There was one other thing I wanted to check, which was our military spending. Do we want to turn down our military spending, though? I mean, we're currently spending 8,000 on the army. But considering the large number of enemies arrayed against us, no, I don't think I want to change those. Large hull form. By making the hull bigger and broader, the ship could be equipped with bigger guns and also bigger machinery without losing stability. The better engines also compensated for the increased weight of the ship. Navy's hull, plus one. In fact, you're another, oh, another dreadnought. Marvellous. There we go. We now have ten heavies. They're all... No, no. Eight dreadnoughts and two battleships. 
and then 12 cruisers. Nice. We're still building a dreadnought and a cruiser. If we got rid of that, would that make our listings happy? No, we are still over it, apparently. Are we still upgrading our naval yards? And in fact, we can now <laughs> upgrade them even further. So, let's have a look around. You are already expanding. Dunzig. Costs. 242,000. Alright, so we're going to need to raise tariffs to pay for these upgrades. And also we're going to raise taxes to 45%. So that we can get our navy upgrades going. More quickly. Alright, technology available. Social alienization, which we don't really need. Realism, which we don't really need. Bank inspection boards for more tax efficiency, which will mean more cash. Or more admin efficiency. Factory cross... Factory cost increase. No, I'd, I'd rather go for the bank inspection boards. Thank you very much. Lovely. Didn't we tell you to go and attack them? Oh, maybe they withdrew and then moved somewhere else. That could be. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, that's enough money to build another level. Expand you to five. Expand you to six. Benefits exploited. And while our hard-pressed economy is bleeding massive sums into the pension system, alarming concerns at the same time being raised about the systematic exploitation of the system. No, no, we're not in any hurry. Our outgoings in terms of social niceties is entirely justified. And not actually that expensive. Uh, fascists have increased, reactionaries have increased, socialists have increased, but liberals have increased the most. Excellent. National radio networks. As the 20th century evolved, the role of wireless communication pioneered by the development of the radio in Gugliano Marconi would rapidly increase as technological changes improved the clarity and quality of radio transmission. By the early 1920s, the improvements would result in the development of a whole new medium of information exchange as radio frequencies could be used to transmit content designed to entertain, inform, or convince. Realising the potential power of this new medium, states began to regulate the assigning of radio frequencies, with some establishing na national monopolies while others allowed for the development of commercial broadcasting networks. By the early 1930s, the radio set would become one of the most desired consumer goods, and its potential use to not only entertain but develop and shape public opinion would soon be seized upon by politicians and those who aspired to political power. Allows radio factories. Go on, capitalists, get on in there. I know you've been... Chomping at that particular bit. Right. Um, no one really wants that reform. Uh, no one really wants that reform. So I'm going to say we don't need to do any reforms. Marvellous. And you can be joining that army. You are retaking that territory. Let's merge you guys together. Okay, this is a lot of guard infantry coming together. We need more artillery. Well, actually, guard infantry is fine because they're very good on the attack. Alright, Stettin. Have I started upgrading you? I have. Must be Kiel's turn then. And then Oldenburg. And Bremen. Do Bremen and then Oldenburg. Super duper expensive. £241. Plus the price of the uh, goods as well. Here, Ivan Patrimony. Patrimony. Iron area has been under German control for some time. So the number of our cores are expanding. Our population is growing again. We're at just under 29 million uh, adult males. That is 115 million total. Not too shabby. Let's expand that one. I think that's going to be all of the naval bases, right? I think, I think, I think. You want an accepted peace offer from the Chinese Empire? So I think China is finally trying to expand itself a little bit. Stettin, Tuchel, Königsberg, Memel. No, Memel wasn't one. Dunzig. Yep, they are indeed all expanding. Okay, in that case, we can reduce the taxes again. We'll go down to 35%. No, we'll go down to 30%. If I want our people to be driving up prices by basically spending money. Or driving up demand, rather, not prices. That would be weird. Um, tariffs can stay at 5... no, we'll run at deficit for a while, it's fine. 
We'll keep it at 0%. I mean, the main reason we're losing money is because we're selling indemnities. Gun hydraulics. By adding hydraulics to the, the gun turrets could be moved quicker and thus aiming took less time, but also the reloading system could be mechanised by hydraulics to make the firing speed faster. More battleships and dreadnought speed. Dig deep. Angry D. Tax efficiency, that should increase the amount of money we are earning. So let's get the admin efficiency. Is that literally? The, no, we have two technologies left. Well, plus those. These are all just prestige gain, which, yeah, We're once again first in everything. Huzzah! I feel like we had a lot more prestige. I mean, I know we did, but it just feels like we should have more. How are we doing in Egypt? We've looked at Egypt for some time. France is keeping a very, very close eye on Egyptian power growth here. We are cordial. The Italians... Oh, Canada has become a great power. Canada split away from the UK. Ha! I have never seen Canada becoming a great power. That is amazing, especially as Canada is actually smaller than it usually is. Wow. Go Canada! Ha! That's awesome. I mean, they're only slightly weaker than Russia, which is crazy to think. They have a really big industry. 666. Like, a lot bigger than you would expect. Nicely done, Canada. That's potentially because of all the damage I've been doing to the UK over the time. Right, you guys. Ludendorff. Yeah, he's fine. Do we have any other rebel places to go and capture? Let's go move you slightly. Let's say go hunt rebels from there. Oh, Aww, we were just too late. I hit pause just just too late. Okay, now we're making a lot of money again. So let's drop these tariffs. And also taxes, I think. I mean, especially for the capitalists, because they will have lost some money during the uh, capitalist, uh, sorry, the uh, communist era. And we have sufficient money in, in the bank and we can actually use more from the bank if we absolutely need it to finance our people. As long as these blue bars are growing and the green and the yellows are shrinking, then I am happy. You're just getting some of your luxuries, that's good. The poor are getting a fair number of the luxuries. Mayday Parade. The red banners flutter before the winds and people of all ages come out to watch as socialist, communist, union new workers and workers of all ages come together in a protest march. Commemorating bomb throwers and murderers in my state? No. Bugger off. We're not supporting the communists anymore. Like, they have shown their true colours. I am not falling for that one again. Still no artillery. Come on, artillery. No, not artillery. Tanks. Oh, tanks are getting close. We ordered more than just four. Oh, no, we did. And a bunch of engineers. Marvellous. A bit more. Let's get one more set and then the rest in artillery. We're going to keep on pumping those guys out. Our military is recovering nicely. Our military strength is recovering nicely. Yeah, we are now way ahead of everyone again. Good. And how long do we have truce with you? 1919. Three more years. Four words. Extra, extra. Grand strike in Berlin. Workers demand higher wages. Extra, extra. Grand strike in... Socialist newspaper named Forward has been published in Berlin. Uh, we do have freedom of the press. Interesting, I am sure. Become more... Oh, that's... Wait. All population become more socialist. Or all poor people become more socialist. Interesting, I'm sure. 20% increase in socialism. Ouch. Bohemia is like one of the big states. In fact, it is the biggest state, isn't it? Have a look at population. Yes, it is. Saxony is not far behind, but it's pretty strong. Actually, I think it is probably time for us to go through and do our usual overview. You have more than enough clerks now. So do you. You still need more. You're fine. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You have too many yet, that's fine. You're okay. You're more or less okay. You're okay. 
Let's go and remove that focus though. We don't need more. Okay, okay. Definitely needs clerks. You're okay now, Moravia. You have recovered. Marvelous. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Oh, no. Except these are tiny. No. We want to expand the number of workers here. So if we select all, I'm kind of curious how many of you are actually craftsmen. Yeah, most of you are still laborers. And laborers are the, like, miners. So Bohemia, let's get some more craftsmen, shall we? Saxony. Saxony has a lot more crafts. Slovakia's farmers. There are virtually no farmers in those states. Wow, our population of farmers is actually pretty small. Like, we'll, we'll do an overview in a minute, because I think that's kind of interesting. So, Slovakia. Basically, anywhere that the craftsman block isn't very much like Bohemia. What are we doing in Brandenburg? Yeah, Brandenburg, we have tons of craftsmen. Like, almost half the population in Brandenburg's craftsmen. That's what we want to see. So, honestly, Saxony. You could do with more craftsmen. Nordheim. You could do with more craftsmen. And let's just expand the number of uh, producers we have there. Okay, so throughout the country of Germany, 31% uh, of us are labourers, 25% are craftsmen, so a quarter of our population work in the factories now. 21% are farmers, 5% are artisans. Artisans are the middle class equivalent of craftsmen. They're like the spilled craft, the, uh, the skilled cottage industry guys. They start out the most important, but as factories grow and grow and grow, the artisans lose population radically and also money to the craftsmen because the factories are just far more efficient. 4% of our population are soldiers. Kind of expect that to be higher. We've kept funding up consistently high. We have a lot of bureaucrats, that's true. I should probably have a look at how many bureaucrats we actually have right now. Clerks, 3.4%. That's way too many. We need to drop education funding. Drop it down to 40%, I think. And... Oh no, sorry, clerks. Sorry, it's clergy that I was thinking of. Not clerks. We'll keep education funding at 50. I mean, we are slightly over the limit. We want 2%. We have 2.2. 3% of the population is clerks. 4% is optimal. We are working on clerks, though. So that is fine. Clergymen, 2.2. There you go. Aristocrats, 1.3. Officers, 0 0.2. Capitalists, 0 0.1. And no slaves. 67% Protestant. 27% Catholic. 42% Liberal. 19% Socialist. 56% North German. 21% South German which makes 78% German and 22% other. Free trade's the biggest thing. Limited citizenship, jingoism, secularized. Yeah, uh, no. Liberals are actually moralist, so secularized is fairly high. Full citizenship, anti-military. And then national liberals are 22%. Three liberal parties are easily the biggest. I mean, 60% of the vote between them? That's crazy. Nice! Onwards! And I'm glad it's the National Liberals, because they are definitely the most aligned with my own interests. Why are we going to split off? I didn't mean half. Stay here. Whoops. Stay here. Create a new unit. A couple of your guards. Until you go down to about 60. I just want to throw those guards into Hindenburg's army, because Hindenburg is the one who should be the largest stack here. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to try and make you a 100 stack. Oh, tanks. We definitely want to give those to him, Hindenburg. Yay! Germany has tanks. This means absolutely nothing to the rest of the nation. Oh, there are actually tank models. Hold up, hold up. I don't think I've ever actually built tanks in this game. There are! Awesome! <laughs> oh dear. The world had be better begin to tremble. And tanks, I think, count as artillery? No. What do tanks count as? Those are all guard units. Oh, armor. Yes, they are artillery units. I thought so. Tanks, engineers, and artillery are artillery. Cavalry and aircraft are cavalry. And all kinds of infantry are infantry. Right. We are actually almost out of technologies. This is absolutely insane. All right, let's get social alienization. All right, we are definitely losing cash now. Um, ah, we're no longer paying that off. So it wasn't the uh, tax reform which gave us our money back. It was actually the fact that we're no longer paying restitution to anyone. 
Okay, we are earning money once more. How are the factories doing? How's the unemployment? 151,000 unemployed in Schlesen. 19,000, 27,000. Okay, that's a lot of unemployed. Lots of factories being built, though, so hopefully they'll be moved around. And it seems like there's no longer a shortage on electrical gears, so that's good. Meininger Troop opens in Berlin. The theatrical troop of Duchy of Saxon Meiningen has performed their repertory in Berlin to great acclaim. They will soon begin a series of tours to nations throughout Europe. Excellent. Oh, we have some more tanks. Very tempted to just grab you lot and just stick you in here. Slovak nationalists. All right, show me what you can do. In fact, you should also be on rebel hunting duty. Onboard recon aircraft. By adding small flying machines on top of the turrets of the ship, could get much better reconnaissance. Later on, these aircraft would be equipped with machine guns and bombs, eventually becoming dive bombers. Plus five navy organization. Excellent. Oh, let's have a look here. First use of tanks in recorded history. I'm sure. Oh yeah, we are crushing them. And this is in the mountains. Our tanks aren't going to be great. Marvellous! I am very happy with that. I'm getting some more tanks. All right, let's spread, spread out the love a little bit into those stacks. And I have one more set of tanks to you. I'm going to say that you're basically ready for combat at this point. Lots of artillery, lots of guards, and tanks. Sweet! And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then do consider subscribing. And if you have any tips or advice for me, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.